What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are playing some more EA Sports UFC 4 Universe mode. This is the tournament. It's kind of like the Contender Series, kind of like the, uh, the Ultimate Fighter in a way. We have so many fighters here. Only three of these guys will be brought onto the roster, so it's going to be very interesting to see how it all unfolds. But to first and foremost start this off, we have Jonathan Smith taking on CJ West. We have Tony Atlas taking on Adam Styles. We have Rafael Alves taking on Kamish Alo Samid. We have Clint Anderson taking on Sonia Ranga. And obviously we're going to turn this around. The winners will face the winners. Uh, the losers won't face the losers, I don't think. Um, we're just going to keep this ball rolling. Let's rock and roll. So the winners of these will go on to the main roster. There's only going to be three brought over. We've made three cuts in the, uh, in the main roster. And the tournament winner will be one of them. The other two might be just randomly picked, depending on how well they perform. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes, man. Let's start things off. We are doing this in the UFC Apex as well, which is very exciting. Um, it got, does give you that like contender series feel about it. So here we go. We got West v. Smith in a welterweight belt. We're not fighting in this. We are spectating. I'm going to be watching this as a fan. CJ West v. Jonathan Smith about to go down, man. Both very, very high-skilled guys. And here we are on Dana White's Contender Series. It's Curly Cow's Contender Series, but there you go. <laughs> Let's rock and roll. I'm excited for this one. Herb Dean, the referee. No commentators either, so I get to be the commentator. <laughs> get out of the way, John Anik. <laughs> it's your boy's turn. Anyway, let's rock and roll. CJ West, Jonathan Smith. It goes down right now. Who wants it more? Who's going to be on the roster? We are going to pick three fighters. Jonathan Smith already getting tagged. CJ West there with some nice shots. And let's see. The camera's been brought in a little bit here. Uh, to give us some more of a close-up feel. It probably won't be like it when uh, we're back on the main roster. It's just because, you know, we're in that contender series, you know? So here we go. Jonathan Smith now getting after it. CJ West getting tagged a little bit. I do like the style of both of these guys. They both get after it. And this is going to be a very interesting high-level fight. Nice spinning heel kick there for CJ West. Interesting start. Nice shot to the body there for Jonathan Smith. Both of these guys, I, I like the look of. I think CJ West, uh, you know, very nice boxing. He does remind me a little bit of a Calvin Cato with his boxing. So, uh, yeah, I, I think that's going to be interesting. We'll see what happens here, though. Jonathan Smith. Very, very good. Nice spinning elbow there for Jonathan Smith. We're going to see. I'm excited for this, man. We're watching some crazy fights unfold. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, I believe, just because we will be seeing... Uh, you know, less, uh, less fights, but I'm excited. We're going to see. I don't know who gets this one done. We've seen Smith uh, get cracked early. Good shot there. Good shot. CJ West there. Looking very nice. Okay. Good shot. Interesting. So far. See, Jonathan landed a lot of kicks, though. He's, Jonathan's starting to land. I feel like CJ had a good start, you know, with a big shot to the head. But we're going to see. We're going to see. We've got a full card to run through. Wait, it's, it's kind of a full card. I was going to put these guys... Oh, a leg rock there. There's a knee stomp from CJ West. And Jonathan now wobbled. Another leg strike from CJ. But a front kick from Jonathan Smith. CJ West throwing up all kinds of madness. Do like the boxing of CJ West. Jonathan Smith. Got to watch out for the head kick there, buddy. But yeah. I like what I see with both of these guys. I feel like they're both going to be exciting. I feel like at the minute CJ is winning this fight. Oh, but a shot from Jonathan Smith. And CJ tastes the canvas there. That's nice work and a nice comeback there for Jonathan Smith. Could you imagine if he wins this? That would be insane. Good boxing. Okay. If that went high, that would have probably dropped him. Jonathan Smith starting to land a little bit here. Looking good. First round down. First round down. I'd give that round to Jonathan Smith. After that knockdown there. Beautiful knockdown. Let's go. Round two. Coming up. Let's see who gets through to the next round. Up cut there from CJ. Okay. Slipping him with that leg kick. So, of course, there's only going to be one tournament winner. But we are going to be bringing in three fighters. So, very exciting to see how that's going to unfold. 
Shots. Bad. Oh, oh. So what we do, the first round of this tournament will be three rounds. The next round will be five. That's how we're going to do this, you know. Count the shots from both men here. You love to see it. Close fight. Good body kick there for CJ. I wasn't going to have this guy on their records, but I think I will. Because then they, you know, they get to pad their records up a little bit more. So we say both, all of these guys are like 2-0. Before they go into this and then obviously they're going to get some wins in the contender series but yeah we'll see how that goes shot to the body there blocked by cj double jab for cj west i think it was blocked though i do like the boxing of cj it does remind me a little bit of calvin cater you know throws a lot of shots slips back and throws some more very good boxing jonathan smith's got some nice kicks he's got a bit more of a wild style but you know what? If it wins in this fight, it wins in this fight. Something else as well I will say is, even if you lose this contender series tournament kind of thing, you are still on the short list to be added to the roster though. So we could see some of these people potentially, you know, a little bit down the line. You know, it doesn't mean they're out fully, even if they lose this stuff. You know, they could be added back at a later date. So say, say Jonathan or CJ lose here, we could see them in like a month's time. Oh, high kick drop Smith. And CJ wastes no time. He's trying to close the show. That's a nice high kick there from Smith. That's from Smith from West. I don't know what I'm saying. Very good high kick. He needs to keep at it, though. I would tell Jonathan Smith to try and cover up here, man. Because, you know, a little bit dangerous. Maybe try and get it back to the feet, though. We'll see. Both of these guys aren't really great on the ground. They're both known for striking. Jonathan Smith there reversing it and they are back to the feet. 50-50 on the feet, I'd say. Very high level though. You've got the feints going in. Got the movement. Like I said, the three winners will decide what weight they want to go to. So it'll be interesting to see. Body shot there. Oh, satting down. Jonathan Smith looking for the finish. Big overhand there from Jonathan Smith, and he is winning this fight. There's no doubt about it now. No doubt about it. He's winning this fight. CJ West needs a finish. Wow. Good start for Jonathan Smith. I think he's won this. I think he's won this fight. We'll see. We'll see. If this goes through a decision, if it ended now, he's won the fight. He's been tagging CJ up. I feel like CJ hasn't had the time to flow in this uh, in this so far, you know? Jonathan Smith causing some big, big ruckus today. Let's see if he can keep at it, though. CJ West isn't out in his fight. He landed some shots of his own. It's just like Jonathan Smith is getting the better of him a little bit. Cross left hand there from CJ. This has been a good fight, though. And like I say, we'll probably see both of these guys... In the, uh, in the roster eventually. Oh, but a high kick from CJ West. And Jonathan is rocked. Man, what a fight. What a fight. I think CJ is behind on the scorecards, but I think a few big moves. Big shot there from Jonathan Smith. A few big moves could definitely change the pace of this fight. He's just got to land him, but Jonathan Smith has built up a real good momentum in this fight so far and we've seen him you know look at that beautiful Smith is teeing off but there we go West's got a big cut over the eyebrow now as well and a high kick buckles in Jonathan Smith should go for the finish here he is pouring it on I remember uh, seeing a lot of comments saying oh the rookies are going to get eaten up by some of the guys in the roster I don't think so I think these rookies are going to come bring it to some of the big guys in the roster I really do Smith here. Smith is looking freaking savage, man. We're seeing West there cut over his eye, and I just don't think he's got it. I think he's he's let this one get away from him. He had a very good start to the fight, but I feel like Jonathan Smith has taken over. I feel like he's definitely won this so far. I'd like to see CJ come back. Oh, but a right hand from CJ West. What a fight, man. Both of these guys could get brought in at this point. If all the other fights suck, I'll bring in both of these guys. They've been warriors. What a fight to open it up. 
Uh, whoever goes through, I'm not bothered. They've been absolutely exceptional. Whoever goes through to the next round. Honestly, it doesn't matter. I do think Jonathan Smith, though, if it ends here, he's got this done. But then we just see a little glimpse of CJ West, you know, come through and land a big shot. So I don't really know. I don't really know, to be honest, boys. But there you go. We are seeing a big, big shot there for CJ and Jonathan down again. What a fight. I might bring both these guys in. It just depends on how bad the next few fights are, I guess. But there you go. I don't know who's won this round. It's so even. So even. We've got 25 seconds on the clock. I don't know who's taken this. But it's been an amazing fight. Both guys, absolute warriors. Nice leg kick there from Smith and a jumping shot duck from CJ. What a fight. What a fight, boys. Both of them deserve a shot in the roster, to be honest. But there's only going to be one winner. They both brought it, though, man. What a fight. What a damn fight. Jonathan Smith is through to the next round. He beats CJ West via decision. He is through to the next round of the tournament. Let's go. Let's see who's next. Let's keep it rolling, boys. Up next in the Apex, we have Tony Atlas taking on Adam Styles. We're going to see the winner of this fight will face off against Jonathan Smith in the next round. So, very exciting. We're going to see how it unfolds. Tony Atlas. Adam Styles. Here we go. The second fight of the tournament is upon us. Let's see how it goes, boys. Both fighters very interesting. I like the way both of these guys fight. I'm excited to see how it unfolds, man. We've got Adam Styles. Uh, wait, why does it still say Smith? What? I can assure you that's Adam Styles. It actually says it on his shorts. I believe it's probably a glitch. It's amazing that EA are a million dollar company and we still got to deal with shit like this. But anyway, freaking Jesus Christ. Atlas here starting things off high with a freaking crazy kick. And Adam Styles has been buckled already. These Contender Series fights have not let us down. They have not disappointed. Yeah, that is a glitch, I believe, in the names down below. Uh, where it says West and Smith. Obviously, that it should be Atlas and Styles. But there you go. Someone's getting fired. If I'm Dana White and that's production company, someone's getting fired. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. So, Styles, I believe, is a little bit more of a well-rounded fighter. He's got some grappling in there as well. Uh, so, he may use that. You know, if, uh, if Atlas starts to land a lot... We could see uh, we could see Styles take this fight to the ground, but you never know. Big shots there. Big shots. Turn fire there, and freaking Atlas lands again. Let's see. Axe kick, though, for Adam Styles. I believe uh, the, the stand-ups, uh, the stances from these guys, I believe it is... Alexander Gustafsson is uh, Adam Styles, and Nate Diaz is um, Tony Atlas. So, very interesting. Very interesting, Styles. We're going to see. The winner of this fight, like I said, will go on to face Jonathan Smith in the next round of the tournament. I'm excited for that one. I think uh, whoever comes and gets through is going to bring it. Jonathan Smith, though, made a very, very good start in this tournament, beating, uh, beating CJ West like that, man. That was insane. I just don't know if uh, I don't know if one of these guys can stand to Jonathan Smith. That was an absolute war we just see. It might not be the last we see of CJ though. He might come back. I mean, he put on an exceptional show, and I do think uh, the next time someone's cut, we could just bring him in anyway. To be honest, but you know, we need to make free decisions here on who we bring in. Obviously, the winner of the tournament's 100% confirmed to get in. And the others are uh, kind of down to me. So maybe CJ will get in. I don't know. He put on a war. We're not even halfway done with it yet. This is the second fight of the damn thing. Oh, Adam Styles gets dropped, though. And Tony Atlas. These fights are crazy. These fights have been really good. Now we're seeing some nice boxing from Tony Atlas here. Okay. Oh, spinning shot there. An overhand lands for Atlas, though. This has been a crazy first round. I'll give that first round to... Uh, I've got to say Tony Atlas took that first one. Let's go again. Let's keep it rocking, boys. And uh, let's see who wants it in round two. I'd say it's one to nothing, though, for good old uh, Atlas there. Nice left hand. 
Spinning kick there, missed. Spinning back fist missed as well there. Another spinning kick lands. They're throwing out all the tools today. Adam Starr was getting on the Atlas there. We're seeing him kind of, you know, when he misses or he, he faints. But nice shot there. A beautiful shot there for Tony Atlas. Beautiful. I think whoever wins this tournament, man, you know, they're gonna they're gonna be painted a target on their back a little bit by the rest of the roster, but there you go. I told you guys, man, the, these guys are just as good, if not better, than some of you guys on the roster. So, you know. Just jab, flying knee there, but it's missed. Okay. I like the fact there's no commentator. Maybe we should do some more events in the Apex. That'd be kind of cool. Good shot there. Good styles, so far, he's a little bit behind in this fight. I feel like he needs to, you know, start pushing forward. Beautiful shot again. Tony Atlas there, and he is just dominating so far, man. I'd say anyway. It's just weird shots like that, you know. He just comes back in, boom, lands something clean. Down goes Adam Styles. Like I said, though, I've said it in the last fight, but it is the same for this one. You know, Adam Styles might still get a chance in the octagon. He might still get a chance, you know. We can bring him over. Uh, if, what, say, say some of these guys get cut in the future, you know. There's still going to be openings. Maybe we do another tournament, we bring him back. I don't know. We see how it all gone folds, man. I've got to say that so far, Atlas is definitely making a statement here. Look at this boxing, bro. Some of the best boxing we've seen on uh, on the universe mode so far, in my opinion. So we've got some rumbles in the main roster. We've had some uh, weight class changes. Tony Francisco has gone up to welterweight. So we could face off against maybe the winner. Oh my god, finish that. Finish that fight, that's over. Is over here. I think it is definitely Atlas's fight to lose now. I feel like he's tagging Adam Styles pretty badly, and we're seeing him get the back here as well. As he stands back up. I feel like the boxing, the boxing of uh, Styles here. Not uh, not Styles Atlas. Sorry, has been very bad. It's kind of annoying because I can't see the names. It just says West and Smith. A little bit annoying. I might refresh it in a minute and change that for the next fight. That's kind of annoying me, but there you go. Good fight so far, though. Nice shot. I just wonder, because Styles is out a bit in this fight, but one shot does always change it. We've seen that time and time again. That last fight, the first fight of this card was incredible. Absolutely incredible. There, there we go. I'd say Atlas is winning two to nothing here. He's, he's smoking uh, Styles here. Styles can land one big shot, though, and change that, but... You know, it is a little bit unlikely. We'll just see what happens. Here we go. Nice movement there from both boys. Could this be another decision? That would be insane. I don't know. I feel like uh, Atlas could get a finish here. I don't know if Styles will. But Atlas has been hurting Styles time and time again. He just needs to pull the trigger a little bit more, I think. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Look at that, he's just there, he's just aware, he knows what's coming. I'll say that now and then Styles will land a big high kick and knock him out. <laughs> big shot there for Styles, okay. He fainted on that kick, but Atlas didn't even block, that would have landed clean. She's always the way, I think. I'm in awe so far though, man, these fights have been amazing. A lot of people were probably seeing the, the three newcomers as easy pickings. Let me assure you, so far, what we've seen, I think they, they are going to have a pretty good run at a title, some of these guys. Depending on what weight they go to, you know. Shots there. Okay. Yeah, they're definitely going to have some momentum off these wins as well. High kick there. All styles. Oh, we're going to see. I'd like to see Atlas kind of, you know, he, he knows he's got his man hurt. Just push forward and there we go. Try and get that finish. He knows he's hurt. Big neck kick there. Spinning heel kick. Styles down again. I feel like Atlas has dominated this fight. But Atlas here gets tagged. Crazy fight. Good slip. Got a minute 50 left on the clock. I'm going to see. 
I'd like to see him just close it, you know, just just land something big and get him out of there, you know. Good shots. Okay. Nice. Oh. Okay. A little bit of a uh, stalemate here, not one really throwing, neither man. Let's go, let's go. Let's do something. These last few seconds, come on. Get a massive KO win, one of you guys. That'd be insane. Good body kick there. Tried to go upstairs with it as well. I've got to say, uh, Tony Atlas here, he's, uh, you know, been exceptional in this fight. He's definitely won this fight. 29 seconds till we hear from the judges. Again, two decisions. I've got to say, they've been absolute wars. I feel like this one's been a lot uh, a lot more one-sided, though, than the last one. Star was just giving it his all now, just trying to come back with something, land something big at the end of this fight. I feel like this fight got away from him, though, and I'd say Tony Atlas is on his way to the next round against Jonathan Smith. Big win there, I'd say. We'll see what happens. We'll see what the judges think. And, yeah, there we go. Tony, uh, Tony Atlas there, getting it done. Adam Styles. Gets the loss, unfortunately. We're going to move on to the next one. I'm going to refresh it real quick so the names are the same uh, as the actual fighters. And we'll go again. Rafael Alves taking on Kamish Alo Samid. Let's go. Up next, we have Kamish Alo Samid v Rafael Alves. Going to be an interesting one. We're going to dive in and see how this one goes, man. Um, I know both of these guys. Obviously, I know all these guys, and they're freaking awesome. Um, but we're going to see. Kamish Alo Samid is one of my close friends, um, named Bradley. Uh, we'll see how Kamish can fare. Rafael Alves, though, looks very tough as well. I will say that. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. Oh, big high kick there for Kamish. And a nice body shot there for Rafael Alves. Kamish going at him early, though. That's what he needs to do. Ooh, that would have been nice. That kick there. Rafael Alves, I like his stance. I like Kamish as well, to be fair. He's got the steep Miocic stance, I believe. A nice front kick there from Kamish. Uh, from Kamish, from Rafael. Spinning back fist from Al Samid, though. Let's go. Oh, they're bringing it out today, boys. Let's go. Let's see. I don't know who gets this one done. I I'm, I'm neutral in this. As much as, like, both of these guys are my boys. I'm neutral, you know? I feel like I've got to be. <laughs> okay. Here we go, though. The third fight of the tournament. So, the winner of this will be in the next bracket. Um, we'll fight... The winner of this will fight the winner of the next fight. Uh, but we do have the next round is Adam... Uh, no, not Adam. Tony uh, Atlas v. Jonathan Smith. That is the next one. Oh, nice slip there. Bit of a stalemate so far. Not seeing really anyone come and take it. That might change. That might change. Okay. Good shot. Okay. Interesting fight so far. High kick lands. Nice counter straight though for Alice Samid. Let's go. Beautiful leg kicks from Alves though. He's looking good. Okay. Decent. So far. Big uppercut. Good slip there from Alves. Oh, and Alasamid. He's cracked there. Alasamid needs to cover up. Coming in with a spinning heel kick, though. Let's go. Alasamid trying to get this ground, uh, fight to the ground here. Alves denies. And a big knee to the head. Alves looking for the finish. Got a minute left in this round. Nice spinning shot to the body. Alves looking very creative. Alasamid's had good moments in this, though. He's getting lit up with a combination there, though. My God. Alves throwing bombs. Nice box in there from Alasamid. Oh, but the left hook rocks him. And Alves, very patient. Oh, he's rocked the body now, too. Man, Alves looking rough so far, man. Looking very, very good. Alasamid needs to uh, cover up here, man. It's been a rough round. He can come back, though. Front kick there. Find the bell, ref. Have a word. Alrighty. <laughs> Moving on. Good first round. We're going to keep going with it. Amazing first round. 
I say Alves definitely took that, but Kamish Alassamid, you can't count him out. Here we go again. Oh, oh, left hand. Is he wobbled? Yeah, he is. Damn. And Alves drops him again. Alves needs to get in there and get this finish though. Nice shot to the body. Good left hand there. Kamish needs to cover up here. He's getting tagged. I feel like Alves is a lot more creative with his strikes. He's throwing a lot more wild stuff. And uh, we are seeing Alassamid, you know, he's kind of... Oh, shot to the body for Alves. Man. I don't know if there's something in the water at the Apex Center, but they are coming to scrap today, boys. Okay. He has rocked the body, he's rocked the head. Alves is doing a good job at attacking all areas of Alo Samid. He misses that shot. Alves looking cool as anything. I would like to see Kamish land some more, though. But Alves is just slipping punches, he's out of the way. Mad. I'd like to see Alasamid counter a little bit. You know, instead of throwing all these wild shots, sit back and counter. The body shots are starting to hurt Alasamid, though, and he's rocked again. Rafael Alves here looking to close the show, potentially. I'd like to see Alasamid maybe try and get it to the ground. Come on, boys. Nice left to a counter there from Alasamid. Goes to the ground. Nice. Oh, he doesn't. Gets it back up. Beautiful work there on the takedown defense from Alves. And he drops him again. Rafael Alves here looking absolutely savage. I feel bad for the guy has got to fight this dude. Like I said, Alasamid might still get into the uh, roster. He might. We're going to pick three people who really come to bring it. And uh, so far on the list, CJ West, although he lost, he's on that list, you know. Adam Styles, he, he kind of got dominated a little bit, so... I don't think he's going to be the one to come to the list and come through out of these three. CJ West might still get in, though, depending on how these other fights go. And the Sammy's leg now buckled. What I will say, what I'm annoyed about is uh, Alves is he's not really trying to close the show. And he's just kind of beating Al Samid up here. I feel like Am oh, I can't speak. Al Samid needs to just, you know, sit back and try and counter or try and grapple. On the feet, he's getting lit up. A, that was no knockdown. He just pushed him over there. Okay. Nice. Pick up there for Alves. Oh, he's down. He's done. He's done. He's going to get saved on the bell, though. No, he's not. The ref pulls him off. Alassamid finished. Rafael Alves gets it done. Through to the next round. I feel bad for any motherfucker who's got to fight him. I really do. Moving on, let's get the final fight of the card. Uh, Clint Anderson via uh, Sonia Ranga. Let's go. Up next, we have Clint Anderson taking on Sonny Uranga. This is going to be a very, very... Or a anger. I can't even speak. My bad. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one. Sonny v. Clint, a Canadian v. a South African. Going to be a very interesting fight. I can't wait to see how this goes. Both guys hit very hard. And we're going to see who gets this one done. The winner of this fight will fight Rafael Alves in the next round of the tournament there. Nice high kick there for Ayanga. Let's see. The first few fights of this card have been absolutely ridiculous. I can't even lie. Ooh, okay. Okay. It's going to be interesting not having one single fight where I control. That's going to be kind of interesting. There you go. So the next few fights are going to be... Uh, we got, I believe it is Jonathan Smith... Uh, and Tony Atlas. That's going to be an interesting one. I can't wait for that. And then the winner of this fight will fight good old... Uh, good old Rafael Alves. Okay. High kick there for Anderson. Landed clean. Chin of Aranga though. Oh, big shot. Oh, nice high kick there for Aranga. Let's go. Clint Anderson here, looking to walk forward. Nice left hook there for Anderson. As a Yanga backs him up, let's go. Okay, so far so good for both men. Very interesting fight. 
Okay. Oh. Stands in the bag, and that's what we need. It's been a little bit of a like a slow start to this one. You know, let's start. Let's start throwing bombs, boys. Let's see. Good boxing there from Addison. He does get tagged now and again. Okay. Oh, nice knee. High kick there from Addison. Okay. So someone's talking about grappling. Okay. Oh, uppercut lands. Oh, big shots though. And Yanga's just gone down. He ate some big shots there. Oh, he dropped. And Yanga here, just trying to survive, and he manages to. Clint Anderson now. Looking good in this first round. Big shots here. Look at that. Okay. Nice shots. Anderson posture up here. He's got a minute left of this round. And you see that uppercut really changed the pace of this fight. It was kind of a stalemate, and then that uppercut landed. And then from there, Ayanga's been a little bit on the back foot. I think Anderson though, coming forward. He's landed another big shot here. And Ayanga in trouble. Oh, left hook drops him. Clint Anderson looking for the finish. Can he get it? Ayanga again surviving. What a beast. A lot of chin, a lot of heart on a younger. Clint Anderson though doing everything he needs to to freaking start off with a very, very good start to this fight. First round coming to a close. Clint Anderson took that in my opinion. Let's keep going. Round two coming up. Let's go again. Round two. Dana White's contender series. Curly Cow's contender series. It has a better ring to it, Dana. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Let's see. I want to know. What I'm going to ask right now is... Oh, high kick. But just, just stop talking, Cal. <laughs> Let's watch the fight. <laughs> what I was going to ask is... Uh, let me know your favourite fighter in this tournament. I'd like to know that. For me at the moment... Man, I've got to say. Jonathan Smith, CJ West is... Oh, my God. What a strike. He's down. I think Addison needs to finish him here, though. Tagging him up. And Ayanga, though, still, still able to stay in this fight. Very, very good chin and uh, heart from that man. Anyway, yeah, let me know your favourite fighter and the fight of the tournament. I think the fight <clears throat> of the tournament so far is definitely CJ West, Jonathan Smith. That was an absolute war. I think the fighter of the tournament so far could be Clint Anderson or Rafael Alves. Both of those guys put on very good performances. Oh, cracked with a jab. Put him down there. Yang has been, he's been getting hit quite a bit though. I feel like the next shot could put him away. He's got to be careful. Keep them hands up. Good shot there from a Yanga, though. This guy. Really good fights, man. I can't even lie. I'm looking forward to all of these guys coming on the roster. And he's out cold with a high kick. Clint Addison v. Rafael Alves is up next. What a fight. Actually, well, up next is uh, the other one. Jonathan Smith v. Tony uh, Atlas. Going to see how that one goes. Let's rock and roll, man. Let's keep going. So the second round is here. Atlas v. Smith. Both big wins in their first one. I do think Jonathan Smith had a tougher fight, but we'll see. I think Atlas just passed with flying colours, but let's go. Up next, the uh, first card of the second... Or first card. First fight of the second round. We've got Atlas v. Jonathan Smith. Let's go. I think... Uh, I don't know who takes this. So they're both really good. I think Atlas looked better, and he didn't get cracked as much, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. Now, we are at the point where anyone can get picked and brought in. We are picking three... Uh, three people and there's only four fighters left, so we'll just see what happens. It's a shame someone's got to get left behind, but you know, out of the final four. But there you go. It is what it is. Shot there for Smith. Gets cracked there. It's all about their performance in this next one, I think. This fight here. If they put on a war and they both bring it, then you know they could both get brought in, and then obviously the winner. There we go. The winner's got a 100% certain spot of getting onto the main roster. The others, kind of up in the air, but we'll see. Okay. We will see. Oh, high kick. Big high kick there for Atlas. The land flush. We'll see if Jonathan Smith can survive. It looks like Jonathan might have a cut on his lip. Great. Might just be a bit of bruising. I don't know. Yeah, it's bruised. Okay. Needs some the ribs there. Good shot for Smith. Look, Atlas has got some real weird strikes. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, man. Big move. 
Nice spinning shot there. He has a back fist for Jonathan. Both throwing mad strikes. Oh, uppercut lands though. Atlas there with a four piece. That's mad. Okay. Double jab there. We're going to see. I'm excited for this, man. I'm excited. High kick lands clean again. Atlas has looked freaking flawless. Okay. Big shots landing for both men. Oh, nice jab. Oh, shot to the body and Smith's hurt. And Atlas looking good. Going for that kill early, man. Oh, big shots. Man, I was going to do five rounds, but I think we're just going to all do three. Maybe the final can be a five, I think. We'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. Wow. Big shot so far. I do feel like Smith is getting tagged up a little bit here. Atlas has just been landing galore in this uh, in this shot. It's just crazy. Look at this, man. He's so diverse with his strikes. He's going to be a tough one to beat when he does decide to take on these divisions. Question is, will he get through? Jonathan Smith was behind in the uh, first round against uh, CJ West, and he come back and got that one. And Atlas there just landed some bombs. Nice. Okay. Good first round for Atlas, though. He won that round, no doubt about it. Let's go again. Round two coming up. Here we go. Let's see how it goes, man. Spinning kicks. Atlas is a puzzle to fight, man. Big puzzle. Nice body shot there. Okay. Not bad so far. Nice front kick down. Smith managing to pick him up. Good uppercut there for Atlas, though. What a fight, man. What a fight. Spinning shots there, and Atlas just timing the hook there perfectly. Nice body kick. Okay. Ooh. Good body kick there. A body kick, body shot. <laughs> he stomped there. And Atlas, look at these combinations. A high kick from Jonathan. This is what I mean. He just comes back. Crazy. Front kick though for Atlas. Lands clean. And Jonathan Smith is wobbled. He's still wobbled. Wow. And Atlas now trying to close the show. What a fight. Can't write Jonathan Smith off, man. He always comes back. Overhand though for Atlas. Man. Nice shot. High kick there for Jonathan. Oh, that high kick would have buckled Atlas if that had landed. Nice shot. Beautiful. This is an amazing fight. Jonathan Smith, what I will say, even if... Uh, he gets tagged quite a bit. He always brings it. So for that, he might even get a shot on the roster. You don't know. He could win this fight. He'd done it against CJ West. That fight is in the rearview mirror now, though. And CJ, you know, he shot. He, I, I was confident he was going to get a shot in the roster, even if he lost the first fight. But I don't know now. I don't know. Obviously, the, like I keep saying, the winner is 100% certain getting a shot. But everything else in these top four is up in the air. Big shot there. I might not even do second place, you know, if, they, if they're if they in the final. They might not even get the shot. The winner is 100% certain, but everything else is kind of... The other two spots are up in the air. Nice jumping shot there for Jonathan Smith. And he's coming back in this one. Let's go. Oh, and a front kick. And Atlas now rocks. Man. Let's go. Okay. Nice front kick there. And a lovely straight. I think Jonathan Smith's won this round. It seems like he comes back. As Atlas has been tagged again, Jonathan Smith. Getting another knockdown. Crazy. Crazy fights. Atlas is down and he is hurt. Jonathan Smith is about to finish this fight. Wow. 
Both of these boys, I feel like, deserve a spot on the roster. I really do. I really do, man. It's going to be sad because someone's got to go, you know. We're going to pick three and there's only four left. You know, we've got Clint Anderson, Rafael Alves, and these two boys throwing down. Nice. Oh. Bad shot there. I don't know who's going to win this one. Jonathan Smith started bad in the first round against CJ, though, and he come back and won the fight. So that might happen again here, you know. He's a bit of a slow starter, but once he gets flowing, you know, he gets going good. Like that, beautiful. He's going for the finish here. Wow. Two shots there, and he slips the other one. Very good. Beautiful body shot. He's got to be careful, though, coming in wild, though, because Atlas is a very good boxer. But Smith is building here, you know. He built in the last fight as well. Lost the first round and started to get his uh, get his rhythm going. And he might get the finish here. Atlas in trouble. Just managing to survive. Smith's still on top, though. He's done. He's done. Atlas finished. Jonathan Smith is in the final. The Comeback Kid. He's already got a nickname. The Comeback Kid. Wow. Moving on, we have Rafael Alves taking on Clint Anderson. Wow. Wow. What a, what a performance, man. He is through to the final. He's going to be facing either Rafael Anderson... Uh, Rafael Anderson? Rafael Alves or Clint Anderson up next. What a finish, though. Beautiful left hand. Finishes him on the ground. Atlas looked very good, but Smith just came back strong. The Comeback Kid. Wow. Here we go. The second bracket of the second round. Rafael Alves taking on Clint Anderson. The winner will be in the final against Jonathan Smith. We're going to see who's got it, man. Who's got it? Okay. Rafael Alves. Clint Anderson. Both very good knockouts in their first round fight. Let's see how they do in the second. Oh, high kick off the bat for Clint. We're going to see. Big shots there. Okay. Oh. 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 Rafael there. Throwing back. Both of these guys hit very hard. I feel like Rafael's a lot more tricky. As we can see there. Look at the movement from him. He's a lot more tricky. But I feel like Clint hits a little bit harder potentially. I don't know. We're going to see. They're throwing up all these wild moves so far. Let's get it going. Okay. Good body shot there. Oh, nice slip there. Let's go. Okay. Nice uppercut. Let's go. Let's go. Little cut over the eye, I believe, of Rafael Alves. Just keep it moving. Shot there to the chin. Nice slip there for Alves. Nice, not bad. Good slip. Oh, what a double jab. And Anderson rocks. High kick lands. Alves looking good. Nice. And again. Okay, oh. Oh. Good leg kick there. Front kick for Alves. His left hand. He's going to be some tough fight. I feel like Anderson on the back foot here. And Alves with a first round finish. That is insane. The final is here. Rafael Alves v Jonathan Smith. Let's get it. What a finish for Alves, man. Wow. Lights him up like a candle. Let's go. Move it on. Let's get it, man. The final. Here we go. The final. Rafael Alves, Jonathan Smith. Two wins. Two wins. We're going to see who wants it more. The winner is 100% confirmed a, uh, a shot of the roster. And I've said that about 15 times. We do have a Discord as well. <laughs> Links are in the description if you want to come join the boys in the group chat. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Anyway, let's get it going. Smith v. Alves. 
final is here. Who wants it more? So remember, we can bring anyone in. We've got three choices. Or two, basically. The winner's already in, but two choices about who we bring in. And it's going to be hard. It's, uh, there are some big names I want to bring in. Some because they're my boy as well, but I, I've got to be... I've got to think of a level head here. We'll see who wins this fight, though. I think Alves has looked flawless the whole freaking tournament. And Jonathan Smith, he, he's, he's looked good, but he, he gets lit up a lot in the first round. We see him with uh, Atlas, and we see it with CJ. They were both tagging him very badly. He came back and won them fights, but... You know. Big shots there. I will be doing more tournaments, so if your fighter did not get entered in this one, I'll be doing more when we do cut more fighters as well. Going to do it in this kind of concept, though. We cut three fighters, and then we, we you know, bring them in. There you go. Jonathan Smith, I've got to say, had a very rocky road to the final, but he's here. Alves has kind of breezed through, you know. Taking out both guys. He's full. It's going to be an interesting one. I wasn't going to do a five-rounder, but I thought, you know what, we'll do a three, and then we're going to do our, like, uh, our decisions about who we bring in. I've got some ideas about who's coming, although it's, I'm kind of torn. Oh, big high kick there for Alves. The thing is with Alves, though, he doesn't bite on it. He, uh, you know, he's very patient with what he throws. Nice kick there for Jonathan. Okay. Jonathan Smith already been branded the nickname. Two fights in, and he's been branded the nickname, the Comeback Kid. Two fights, two wins for both men. Smith beating Atlas, which was a massive win. Atlas was lighting him up. And I thought he was almost out, to be honest. But no. He comes back with a big win. Good shot there for Smith. Alves, he's always on his toes as well. It's kind of cool to see. Always on his toes. Nice slip there. He's a puzzle to fight, this dude. We'll see if Smith can beat him, though. If he can, that'd be huge. Big shot. Body kick blocked there. Caught the kick there. Good work by Jonathan. Nice. Very high-level fight. I don't know if we're going to see a finish in this one. We might do. It's only the first round, but... Oh, high kick again from Alves. Jonathan does start his fights very slow, though. He's down here in the first. Alves has just looked like a monster. Nice shot there, though. Smith throwing up some shots that he can fall onto. Okay. Good first round. Alves took that, but then again, Jonathan always loses the first and then comes back and wins, you know? It's... The comeback kid. That's why he called that. We've seen it in both fights, and it could happen in this one. We'll see. Jonathan Smith just gets better and better. I'm going to see if this fight is going to be any different. I don't know. Alves seems like a different monster. He's dominated this, uh, this division so far. We'll see. Big shot. Spinning shot to the body there for Alves. Crazy seeing them fight like three times in one video, you know? Shot to the body there. And Alves it just seems to just throw random wild shots there. And then when like Smith will throw random wild shots, Alves ain't even there, man. He's gone. That's something Jonathan done well in the last fight. He threw a lot of jumping sidekicks and uh, they landed clean to the chin of uh, Atlas, you know? Oh, nice. Not bad there. Alves looking a bit like a killer at the minute, though. Smith, uh, just sit back and bang them high kicks. That's what I'd do. There we go. The straight high kick. Always works for me. <laughs> okay. Interesting fight so far. Not a lot happening there. Nice side kick there for good old Alves. Can he get it done? I don't know. Smith is tough, though. Smith is just gritty. He's very tough. Alves, though, I've got to say, has had the better path to the final. Jonathan Smith will come from losing and, you know, coming back and winning. Alves has dominated both of the people he's fought. And uh, he's looking a bit like a champion at the minute. Both of these guys... Oh, Jonathan Smith here getting pieced up a little bit. Like I said, three decisions. Well, two, really. 
think I've got a good idea about one of them. And it just depends how this light goes, you know. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. The corner is screaming. Someone's shooting for a takedown. I believe it is Alves's corner, which is interesting. Because Alves has been, you know, been doing pretty well on the feet, I thought. But there you go. Nice counter left hand there. But Alves, look at that. Three piece to the body. I don't know how that didn't land, but a counter from Jonathan Smith. And down goes Alves. Wow, this is what I mean. He's the comeback kid, man. He's the comeback kid. I don't know if he's won this round. I wouldn't say so, but... Come back there with a big shot. That could be the start of it. Now he's landing on Alves. This is crazy. If he'd landed that, I'd have lost my damn mind. Okay. Nice body kick for Alves, though. Okay. Moving on. Third and final round. Who wants it more? that for a shot, man. Yeah, I'd say Alves won the fight, but Jonathan Smith, he's not out in this fight, is he? He's just landed a big shot there. The comeback kid. Although I would say it's two to nothing for Alves. You know, he gets caught with some stuff like that. He's, he's out, you know. There's Jonathan Smith. Starting to throw down a little bit, you know. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see him, uh, you know, get after it and throw down. I do feel like Alves has done enough. He could take this round off, but, you know, Smith, he's not going to let him do that. Smith is a warrior. And there we go. Big shot there. Again. It's been a really, really good fight, though. A really good tournament. I can't even lie. Now, fighters that have made a big notable thing for me, uh, CJ West is one of those guys that I feel like he, if he hadn't fought anyone other than Jonathan Smith, he probably would have got through. But it is what it is, you know. Um... It is what it is. Um, I, I think we'll probably see CJ West in another tournament, maybe. And some of these other guys, you know, that don't make it today. Another shot. Jonathan Smith and Alves is buckled. Been crazy so far. Both of these guys, I do feel like could beat the top level um, in in the normal roster. So Holmes, Chatsis, uh, Thomas Lav, Brady Mayfield. John Doman, Jamal Jackson, Arthur Jackson. You know, I feel like these guys are going to fit right in. I really do. I think a lot of people were so, sort of, you know, drooling at the mouth to fight these guys. And I don't know if they will be after this. I really don't. <laughs> okay. Nice block. Okay, we'll see. Oh, and Smith rocks again. And down he goes. Alves got to look for the finish here, surely. I feel like Jonathan was winning this round, but... Big shot there for Alves. Let's change that. Nice left hand there for Alves. Alves, I've got to say, has looked incredible. But Smith, though, he's always he's always on the down. You know, he's he's down, but he's never out. And he, he comes back, and we see it in the, uh, the, uh, the Atlas fight, you know. Very good. Spin the shot there. We got uh, Alves' corner. Speaking to him there. Interesting. Smith keeps trying that jumping kick, and it has landed a few times, but you've got to think that's draining his stamina a little bit. Shot there for Alves. Real good fight, though, and down goes Smith. Man. What a damn fight. Some of the best we've seen, I think. They're just gunning for it. Like I said, if your fight weren't on this tournament... There is chance he'll be on the next one, you know? I do apologise, but... Yeah, it's hard to fit them all in. So. There's only three people going in this roster, and out goes Smith with two seconds left. What a fight. What a fight. And what a performance. Rafael Alves is through into the roster. Automatically. He is through to the roster. And which is... That's, that's a good decision, I think. He, he, you know, he dominated... And uh, he was close to getting beat there a few times, but he, he gets it done. Front kick KO. Is it front kick or was it like a side? I don't even know. But yeah, he's out anyway. <laughs> anyway, we're going to bring in. And this is kind of hard because, you know, I, I feel bad. CJ West was one of these guys that I feel like was a, 
Got a bit unlucky, and I feel like he would have had some wars if he had got further in the tournament. But unfortunately, he didn't get further in the tournament, so we're not going to be bringing CJ West in. I want to know, actually, down in the comments, who you'd bring in from this whole video. I'm going to bring in, though, the three people that are coming into the UFC roster. Obviously, uh, Rafael Alves is one of them. We're going to bring Jonathan Smith in. We're going to bring him in. I think uh, he's exciting, he's wild, and... Uh, He's definitely what um what I like, you know. He's, he he loses, he's losing, and then he comes back and gets a big win. Um, so yeah, Jonathan Smith is coming in as well. Uh, the two finalists will be joining the uh, roster, and the third one, I gotta say, I don't know. This is rough because Clint Anderson was very good, but I'm gonna go with uh, Tony Atlas. I feel like he looked flawless in his first fight. Uh, as much as Kamish Al Samid is my boy, I can't bring him in. You know, I can't do that. We can't rob someone else of a potential. Uh, you know, performance in, you know, we can't we can't rob him of that. But there are going to be the three people on the roster. So Jonathan Smith, Rafael Alves, and uh, Tony Atlas will be joining the UFC roster. The rest of the guys, I'm going to put them into another tournament, maybe um, in the next time we cut some people. We're going to add some new people and go again. But for today's episode, guys, going to end it here. We've got three new people on the roster, Rafael Alves. Uh, we have Jonathan Smith and Tony Atlas. They are the next... Uh, free fighters now uh the owners of those characters let me know contact me and we'll talk about what weight you want to fight in we do need featherweights and welterweights i feel like um alves could be a welterweight he's looked incredible um but yeah <laughs> enough rambling on going around to here guys thank you for watching if you have enjoyed it hit the like button comment and subscribe and i will see you for more good old EA sports ufc 4 next time so tell some guys have an amazing day see you all again in the next one